It's gone from bad to worse. The segment in Pacificus is on fire. The Tyranids are here. They are consuming everything in front of them. And in today's video, I'm going to focus on one of the many war zones. This one is called War Zone Bastio. Hopefully, I'm pronouncing that right. This is where one of the big battles is taking place. It's the system where the homeworld, the chapter monastery of the White Templars, is located. The Phalanx is there. Tall Garadon's there. Massive amounts of forces of the Imperial Guard are there, but the Tyranids are there also, and it looks like all is ruin. So let's jump in and let's get waffling. Now, before we jump into the void war of wars on Bastio, I just want to do a quick little summary so we're all on the same level, we all understand what's going down. So the Tyranids have invaded the Segmentum Pacificus. This is the western part of the galaxy. It's the western empire of the Imperium. The Tyranids have launched this huge invasion. It's the biggest Tyranid invasion that has ever been recorded. We are now officially in the fourth Tyrannic War. To combat this, Terra itself is sending out things called Soul Blades. These are like quickly mandled together like fleets made or led by legendary heroes to try and stop the Tyranids from advancing more into the segment of Pacificus. And this is where we're getting such war zones like War Zone Bastio, which we're about to discuss. Now, these Soul Blades are led by by legendary heroes. Um, uh, the, the Captain General is one of them. Captain Tra uh, Trajan Valoris is one of them. Um, the one that we're going to be discussing now, um, uh, Garadon is leading them. Captain Garadon of the Imperial Office. He's taken the Phalanx. The Phalanx itself, which is fully operational, which we'll get to in just a second, is fighting on the forefront of these battlefields. And this is what it brings us now to War Zone Bastio, one of the vital points that the Imperium needs to hold. Now, I'm going to put an image in the background which shows off Warzone Bastio. Again, hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. So Bastio is a subsector. As you can see here, the, the Grendilis Tendril has now infested this subsector system. Its bio fleets um, are seed through the dark void like oceanic tides. All contact between the beleaguered systems has been lost. So literally the defenders in this subsector um, can't call for help. They are literally being cut off from all type of aid. Now, one of the reasons why I wanted to focus on this subsector, because as a son of Dawn, there's really a lot in this for me, because you have the Imperial Fist deployed here. You also have another Dawnian chapter called the White Templars. Well, they were sons of Dawn until the last 9th edition Space Marine um, Codex, if I'm not mistaken, where it basically said that the White Templars discovered that Dawn was not their gene father. I'm not too sure if they're retconning this uh, again now. I'm, like, we'll, like, we'll have to wait until we get the new Space Marine Codex, which comes out around September, August time um, this year. So hopefully that'll clear that up. Um, but as you can see, um, the main battle I want to focus on, I'll zoom in on it here now, is called the Planet Sanctum. This is the White Templar chapter planet. This is where the main forces of the Tyranids are heading to try and kill the threat in this subsector once and for all. You have Garadon, you have the Phalanx, you have the White Templar chapter, its planet, and a bunch of Imperial Guard forces. The Lord Solar Leonatus, you know, the new guy on the horse, he's actually leading the Imperial Guard. He's commanding it from inside the chapter monastery on the planet of Sanctum. Now, as you would expect, the Tunid forces are numerous. They literally outnumber the Imperial forces like a hundred to one. But the Imperial forces have dug in, they're defending. These are Sons of Dawn. They know how to defend the piece of ground that they are given. There's nothing more deadly than a Son of Dawn holding his ground. They also have something in space called the Dawn Wall. And this Dawn Wall is basically made up of a belt of asteroids. I'll put the image in the background again so you can see it uh, against the planet of Sanctum. And in these asteroids are literally like little mobile fortresses, like servitor turrets, like little defense castles and stuff like that. So anything trying to cut through that asteroid belt literally has to go through like a minefield of guns, bolters, flame, complete annihilation. But again, one of the things that the Tyranids have on its side 
is the numbers. So even though you have the phalanx bringing down bio ship after bio ship, for each one of these ships that are brought down, another five or ten manage to break through the Imperial defenses in the void, and they begin unloading their forces down onto the planet of Sanctum. Soon enough, it's like a thousand, thousands turn into millions, millions, soon enough, turn into billions. The planet of Sanctum is now the new battlefield but there's an amazing extract which i'm going to put in the background right now we're going to read it together and it's all about the phalanx being besieged by the tyranids yes they're breaching the phalanx but the phalanx is itself a son of dawn and sons of dawn do not fall so it states here void siege um, even as the fighting raged across the sanctum still the imperial fist fleet battled in orbit dozens of vessels hung lifeless bound in cocoons of sinew or blackened melted by bioacids many more still fought on refusing to abandon their post while warriors remained on the surface planet uh, to defend foremost among these was the mighty phalanx the battle station's hull crawled with tyrannid organisms and xenos had breached many decks and towers yet under the unwavering leadership of tor garadon that's it the chin of the imperium as i like to call him the imperial fist fought with iron will determination again and again as they hurled the xenos invaders back all while the phalanx gun decks continued firing reducing one tyrannid bio ship after another to mangled meat so even though the planet is being invaded it is you know the the land battle has now started the phalanx and some of the imperial fish ships still in orbit have not given up they're still taking that fight to the tyranid forces it doesn't look good but it's still that we are still sons of dawn we are still fighting on now we do have more lore regarding this but i don't have it all to me at this moment in time and hearing a few things as i'm recording this video but i will be doing a second part of this well i, I didn't really see this as a two-part but i will be doing the main lore video hopefully by the end of this week once i've gathered all the lore information because as i've been stating apparently this is one of the main war zones and um, we still got a uh, Valoris, who fights one of the main Tyranid forces. If I'm not mistaken, uh, it's Valoris who comes to the aid of Sanctum. Uh, Valoris and the Custodes and his Soul Blade feet um, come and reinforce, and they land on the planet. And this is when we have this massive ground warfare, then, which I'm hopefully going to be covering very, very soon. And he gets to fight that non emissary that brand new Tyranid model. Don't forget, there's a non emissary and a non assimilator that we've yet to see a part of. Of this brand new tyrannid release anyway that is enough waffling from me as always hopefully you've enjoyed the video today uh, the phalanx is there the imperial fists are there the sons of dawn are there hopefully we start seeing more of these war zones um with more lore with more chapters of course blood angels space wolves uh dark angels the lion where the hell's a lion during all of this gilliman himself when's he gonna step in and start swinging his emperor's blade there's so many bleak questions so many answers um that i want from games workshop regarding this fourth tyrannic war and how really is it going to be resolved is the imperium literally just gonna beat the tyrannid swarm back i, I I just can't see it with everything that's going on with Chaos and Vashtor and Abaddon and all those subplots. It's going to be a bit of a a bit of a wild time for the Imperium in the upcoming lore. Anyway, enough waffling. Thank you for coming. Thank you for watching, as always. If you've got any thoughts, feedback, anything like that, post it down below, and we'll give a nice little chin wag down there, as we always do. See you now. Have a great day, and bye-bye.